hi to Chaco. It works because it is nighttime right now. We have some militia, my webcam. Come back here, webcam. Why are you sitting over here? <laughs> Great caster, seems good. Yeah, well, at least we have a warden with cloak of shadows. Arr! Killing peasants. Arr! And uh, this this ogre is beautiful. Is the warden gonna kill the ogre? Is he gonna kill it? The warden takes so much damage. She's using a cloak of shadows. You guys see that? She looks just like me. The archmage blocks the. Oh, does he get the warden? Easy kill on the warden and the ogre. Nice game here, by the way. Watching a really good game here between Sonic, who is one of the best warden players we have. Kappa. Kappa. Um, Peasants killing a raccoon. Building a tower. There's a uh, uh, hunter's over here. He's tier one still. He's rebuilding the warden. There's an ancient of war. Building some archers. Are you actually wearing a bathrobe? Yeah. It's pretty hot though right now because it just moved. It's like when I sit still all day, it's pretty uh, cold, so I have to wear the bathrobe. But when when I actually move, it, it becomes so hot so fast. This uh, Berserker takes a lot of damage. The Archmage and the Footman doing a little bit of damage. This Town Hall is going up. It's going up. He wants this Town Hall, so he's building it. Pretty uh, good job here by the Peasants. Just working on this Town Hall. For, for Footman here, gonna defend it maybe. Against nothing because the Warden is over here with the Huntresses. He's the War of Boots. He's going for maybe a nice creep. Momo going up with a Berserker and a First to Set the Priest. In the back, there's a Lightning Shield. Killing some Kobolds. <coughs> the Warden and two Huntresses. Killing some more Kobolds. More Kobolds are dying. This Kobold in the back here also going down. There's some Trolls over here in the back. And uh, this First to Berserker might cut back. The Warden level 2, she laughs at the Footman. This uh, two forest of berserkers. There's so many berserkers. Can blade kill the berserkers? He is right clicking this one over here, and uh, does so much damage to it. There it goes. The archmage is level three now. Two rings of protection, by the way. So that's uh, pretty nice. But the warden has so much mana. This footman is running for her, him his life. His life. He's a he, and he uh, he gets away. Kappa. I mean, like he gets to the next life, right? He's dead. Is what I meant by by getting away. Is yeah, great. The warden, she's she's sitting over here drinking some more moon juice, picking up her pendant of energy again. Ancient wonders going up. He's still a tier one though, so he has to win this game early. Uh, maybe if he scouted this, he sees this actually with the farm. He knows there's no expansion. He knows all he needs to do is defend and win the game. Uh, time to defend. How are we gonna defend? I don't see that many towers. Okay, there's this guard tower. He's building more towers. Blade with the towers. Over here, we also have a guard tower. We're getting more footmen. Archmage here, killing an instant of war. It goes down. And here comes some huntresses. We have an archer and a berserker. And uh, they, they are attacking. This archer takes enough damage. She dies. Two hunters here, going down, down next. And uh, some TPs in. There's an Archmage. He TPs in. There's a Footman. The Footman here takes a little bit of damage. First Tall Shadow Priest is at 52 hit points. The militia here hunting him down. Uh, they want this First Tall Shadow Priest. So bad they will get it. Of course they get it. Nice kill. Militia are done. They're going back home. And meanwhile this farm is being killed by the shop. Poor little farm. Archmage. Level 3 Archmage, how can he defend? Well, Footman, Towers, yeah, should be good enough. And we finally see attack here for uh, Sonic. Finally. Oh, look at this, a Mud Golem, Ogre Mauler, Berserker, Huntress, First of Shadow Priest. The Warden, killing a Murloc. Killing several Murlocs. Yeah. Killing more Murlocs. This Murloc is next. What an elemental flank attack. 
Go for the Muddy. He gets dispelled once. Muddy is running. Oh, a Warden. I mean, he lost a Warden once. Maybe again. Oh, no. She's level 3. Where's that uh, Archmage? He's over here. Screeping over here. Maybe pick up the Tome. Maybe pick up the Wand of Lightning Shield. Wow, nice play there. By the Archmage. Get some Lightning Shield. Killing more uh, Berserkers. Blade is practice man. Poker face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Poker face? He is uh, Blade is practice man, yes. Warden takes a little bit of damage. Well, this uh, water, uh, this Hunter takes... Uh, he's going down, but there were two forces of Shadow Priest, so the Hunter survives for now. Wow. Nice job. Nice teamwork. But here comes the uh, Warden. He's solo on hit points. We have a Footman over here hiding. The Warden takes a lot of damage, but she retreats again. The Footman, they don't have defend, do they? No, no way, right? Two over Maulers. That's just too many hats together. Just kidding, uh, a Footman. All working together. And there goes the, uh, the Footman. More Footman dying. Blacksmith going up. Muddy takes a lot of damage. <laughs> on the Archmage. Oh, the Hunters dies to the tower. He's almost at keep though. And meanwhile we have uh, we have Sonic also almost at two of ages. And look at this ogres just going ham on the altar of kings. Please do creep sound for me and Mad Noob. I'll I'll do a creep sound here or there. Mud Golem. Mud Golem is working on the on the altar. Blood Mage, if the Blood Mage shows up, man. This warden, she is she has to be so careful blinking her out and stuff. But uh, maybe the altar will go down. Two peasants, is that enough? No. Four peasants, is that enough? Oh my god, he just gets enough. Berserker is running the warden is on her way back. The Berserker is still alive. Here comes the warden. What is she gonna do? She laughs at the footman. The buddy! Buddy goes down. Uh, he doesn't really make much sound when he dies, so that's kind of hard to mimic. This uh, Force of Shadow Priest is going down. And now, now one footman dies over there. This footman, he kills it himself. The warden walks to the back. He, uh, he's going for his water elemental. There goes another Force of Shadow Priest. This Berserker also has back back. This water elemental took a lot of damage. 79 hit points. Can he kill one of these Ogre Maulers? Yeah, I mean, he can. He's going for this Ogre Mauler. Archmage. Kills the Ogre Mauler. Use the Invo Potion. Uh, the Blood the Warden has to TP out. This, uh, these units are so low on hit points. The Ogre Mauler dies. The Berserker survives. Although the Footman was about to kill him. He survives. And Archmage level 4. Blood Mage level 1. We have uh, Double Arcane Sanctum, Building Priests here. We have Rifleman. For Blade. Priest and Rifleman. And Priests and Archmages and Blood Mages. No workshops, no tier 3, but we never see tier 3 in this matchup. Tree of Life is up here. Wow. And of course we see tier 3 for Sonic. Tries and uh, then you will get Bears. And this Warden, she will get so much uh, XP. She's almost level 4. Pretty soon she's going to be level 4. <laughs> Killing an Ogre is a nice start. The Ogre Magi here, the, he's going to die. Ah, class of Attack, she picks it up. She attacks now a bit faster uh, with the Claws of Haste though. And with the Claws of Attack, that means she does more damage. So she does more damage faster. So she does... Uh, Plenty of damage now. This first to the trapper is going down. Is he dead? Oh. Tree of life uh, haunts a gold mine, the warden. She bought an info potion. She's level 4 now. I'm not sure. Uh, she doesn't have blink, does she? Level 2 fan of knives. Level 2 uh, shadow strike. There's a blood mage stealing her mana. No, she does have blink. Okay, I'll take it back. He's, he's, he does have level uh, 2 blink, I assume, and level 2 some other skill. One water metal does get dispelled. This uh, dried here ensnared. <laughs> All the dries are dis uh, ensnared. Two, two dries are already dead. The other gets away. Oh, nice shadow strike. The warden picks off the level 5 ogre and the item info potion. That's nice. 
Warden. Oh, so he was still in a range? Wait, no. The range isn't that far. Hello, there probably was just animation that continued uh, to go on for a little bit. He stole so much mana. Can he steal more mana? This Warden is losing so much mana. She's 202 mana now. Blood Mage, he's such a mana stealer. Arc Mage is full mana. Blood Mage is full mana. And the uh, sources. Well, she might die. Warden just killing his sources. Warden loses some more mana. Is he going for the attack on the expansion? Is this what we're gonna see? His 80 supply is 42. Might be double supply here for a uh, blade. But that doesn't mean he's going to win. Because he just lost a rifleman. Right? And he is... He has a healing scroll on the blood match. He has another healing scroll. Two healing scrolls. Warden blinks. Here comes the rifleman. You know, just... This army of blade looks pretty big and powerful. He kills... Not the Berserker, but he does kill the Dryad. Ah! Played only at 77 supply now. 47 for Sonic, but not for long. Sonic now to 44, the arc base level 5. Let's see if Sonic can stop him here and make the comeback. Let's see if he can do the comeback. All he needs is one comeback. And then he wins this game. Just one comeback. Just one, guys. Here comes the Warden. She's almost level 5. If she gets level 5, maybe she kill an Arc Mage and a Blood Mage. And maybe more. There, she's level 5. She gets her mana stolen, but there's an Info Potion there. She laughs at this guy. <laughs> the bear is banished. He, he could dispel it. He, he dispels uh, banished on the Blood Mage, maybe. The Dryad, the dry, he takes so much damage. The bear is uh, going in bear form. The Blood Mage, can he get a Blood Mage? Yes, of course he can get a Blood Mage. Easy kill on the Blood Mage. Oh, there's Banish, but it gets dispelled again. Blood Mage, dead. Boom. And look at this, uh, this is the start of the comeback. He loses a few bears and dryads, but he got the Blood Mage. Yep. This uh, Rifeman also got a Blood Mage and a Rifeman. That's, that's more than uh, just one Blood Mage. Taco flavored kisses. Let me uh, thank you after the game. This, uh, These two bears and this dryad here, the retreat. And there's another rejuvenation on the warden. This tree of life is going down. <laughs> he's, he, he goes for an expansion. He realizes I cannot win. Even if I kill this expansion, I cannot win two bases against one. I need three bases. If I want to have a chance to win this game, I need three bases. The only way to beat Sonic is to get three bases. And that's what he's getting. Three bases. He summons another water elemental. If he can defend his base, maybe Blade can win this game. Maybe he will win this game easy, even, if he can defend his base. His units are 1-1, the bears are 0-0. Some of the bears here are going to die, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy game for Blade. Even if he kills, like, all these bears. This, uh, this sword just takes a bit of damage. The, the warden just going to kill the... Oh, level 6 warden! Is that a comeback? There's the avatar, some, some mini avatars, also known as Spirit of Vengeance. Two bears here, one is killing her... One is killing her uh, druid, no, priest. The priest does go down, towers going up here. He needs towers for defense because he wouldn't be able to defend it without the towers otherwise. This, uh, this bear tries to run but he can't. Oh, it's nice around on the avatar. Can he kill the avatar? Meanwhile, the warden is working on this archmage. He has a TP and oh, the avatar does go down. This bear is down. The warden used the info potion at 5 hit points. Nice job. The archmage is level 6 now. Kills the bear. Does he kill the bear? He doesn't kill the bear. He does not kill the bear. He kills the warden. Level 7. GG. What is this? Passive dice. Trying to lure the creeps into the Angels of War. He dies instead. Barracks. Oh, what is this? Do you guys see what I see? Because I see a neutral hero for Blade. Do you guys see the same? Do you guys see the same? I see the same. Do you guys see the same? Farm going up. Farm is pretty good. Farm is really good, in fact. Farm. I would always uh, recommend building some farms at the start of the game. Is he going for the mount, uh, Beastmaster or do we see something else? What do we hear, have here for Mr. Sonic? He's going Warden again. Warden two games in a row. What a ballsy play here by Sonic. S here comes the Warden. Ace of War is being repaired by the Wisps. The Archer is being killed by the Footman. The Footman now takes a little bit of damage. What do we see here now? Is that the Beastmaster? I guess the Warden. Is that a Beastmaster or a Pitlord? It's a Tinker. Okay. 
Neither the Beastmaster or the Pit Lord. There goes the Footman. This uh, archer survives for now, but the Tinker is on his way. The Tinker, what can he do? The Warden picks up the Potion of Greater Mana. There's the Pocket Factory, but the Ancient War can just start smacking it if he wants to. And he's working on it. He's going for it. Uh, and uh, we have a Clockwork Goblin over there. How many did he get? Only one? He only got one Clockwork Goblin. That's how bad his Pocket Factory placement was. One Clockwork Goblin for 125 mana. Not that great. Here got the Militia. And uh, is he going for Towers? I mean, why else are there Militia here? Well, to kill the Ancient of War and go for Towers. The Tinker is pretty low on hit points. There's mana from plenty more Shadow Strikes. Hello, this Warden is level 2. She has a potion of greater mana. Tinker-chan, you're dead. Maybe you can kill yourself. Hello, kill yourself. No, don't kill yourself. You're dead. You're dead, Tinker. Well, there's uh, this footman here takes a bit of damage. Does Sonic not always go for Warden? <laughs> yeah, he pretty much always goes for Warden. Uh, this footman takes so much damage. Meanwhile, this Ancient of Warden continues creeping. And the Warden does so much damage against the footman. Everyone does retreat. And uh, Tinker will be back in a moment, so the Warden can kill him again. Or is she gonna kill something else? She just runs in into the base. Does she have blink? Maybe she has blink. She has blink! Does she need to use a shadow strike? Ooh, she had to use another 125 mana for this 10 hit point footman. Just to kill him. He was more than 10 hit points. He was obviously uh, more hit points than one attack. But I'm saying he had only had like 50 hit points. And she had to use 125 mana. That's a lot of mana. That's like almost two shadow strikes. Could have killed the Tinker again instead. The shot at his towers up. The warden, she doesn't want to die just yet. She's almost level three and get, gets. Look over here. These guys are gonna creep the warden to level three. Level two shadow strike is gonna be so nice here. There it is. <laughs> the Tinker here, he doesn't think this funny. He doesn't think it's funny. Like, he hears the warden laughing. And the warden thinks it's funny. Tinker doesn't think it's funny. Uh, did, he, did he not realize the warden there? He just walks into the warden. <laughs> the Tinker again taking so much damage. The Warden, she is hunting down the Tinker. She is hunting him down. She doesn't have mana. But a few attacks. I think 130 hit points. I mean, Warden only 125, but that doesn't matter. She's the Warden. She has Cloak of Shadows, just like I have. Oh, first the Shadow Priest to here to heal the Warden. Nice, and some uh, more backup. Tinker, you know, he's creeping over here. The Clockwork uh, Goblins got ensnared. That's, that's cute. Uh, Peasant's dying. Tinker's kind of low on hit points. His pocket Factory is going down very fast. You know, the Warden helping out a little bit. Does she have mana yet? Not yet. Yeah, for Blink. Oh, she uses Blink to pick up the Periapt. Imagine if there was a reveal, but there's no reveal. And there goes the footman. Instead of barrier, I think I would have liked to see that the mana used to just kill the Tinker. But I guess it would take some time before she would have the mana. Tinker is level 2. Archer is my good back. This warden, she doesn't want to die just yet. Maybe later, but for now she has things she wants to do before she dies. Like drink some moon juice, for example. Here come the archers and the trolls. They're gonna kill some towers. And there's a hunter's hole going up. Uh, Tree of Ages going up. Tree of Life going up. Nice play here by Sonic. These trolls. Archer's hiding. This four troll berserker in trouble. He's surrounded. The archer gets away. No, he's not surrounded because the peasant lets him go. He probably is also a fan of the Disney movie. Let him go. It's probably not the movie of the name of the movie, but it's close enough. There goes a the footman. He dies. This archer and this troll, I mean, they don't want to die, do they? Oh, they, maybe they do want to die. Meanwhile, the warden, she's, uh, there's no tinker over here. But there are peasants over here. She works on the tower. She's almost level four. And the berserker, indeed, he wanted to die. And so did the archer. Together, they die. I mean, they live together, they die together. It uh, was a romantic relationship there. He comes to force to Shadow Priest. Going for this guard tower. 
And it goes down. And the warden blinks. It's 10 mana. No, it's still 50 mana. She's still level 3. Shadow Strike on the Tinker. Can she kill the Tinker? Can she kill him? And the answer is no. The Tinker hides in, 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 near the Arcane Tower. The Warden Shadow Strikes the Peasant. He's going to die. What's happening over here? Ancient of War dies to the Creeps, Kappa. And... Well, the Warden... She has uh, mana for one more blink. One more blink, guys. Tree of Life is up. What's this wisp doing? Wisp is being microed. We soon have one more Shadow Strike. Under attack. Under attack. Oh, he uses it on the footman. Okay, the Tinker is fine. Oh, he kills on footman. Nice. Nice. The Warden staffs home, drinks some moon juice. Can he uh, creep this yet? The Tree of Life kills the piggy. Wow, his hands are so big. His hands alone are bigger than that piggy. Isn't that like murder? Is that not just cold blood murder? He didn't get XP from it. He didn't get gold from it. He cannot use the body. This is just murder, guys. Can't believe it. Demon Hunter second. Wow, Demon Hunter second. And there's a second Ancient of Lore going up. He already has the Hunter's Hall upgrading uh, Ultra Vision. Tree of Death. The most terrible big death ever. Oh, are guess you uh, glad you guys agree with me. We're in now level 4. She has level uh, 10 mana blink. She walks past the Shredder. Shredder doesn't care about the Warden. I mean, he could cut her up, but why would he cut up a Warden if he can cut up some trees? Hello. Go cut, him, cut up some trees. The Demon Hunter with the Dried and the Berserker creeping over here. Together, we, we still see the Piggy's body. Demon Hunter picks up a nice parry up. Some extra hit points and the Warden... Over here, where's the Tinker? There he is, in the Zeppelin. Healing up a little bit, the Zeppelin with the Tinker. Tinker is level 3, but the Warden already level 4. Uh, Demon Hunter is getting uh, whatever level he wants. Alright, for now that's level 2. He's level 2. Level 2. Tree killed the Ogre. Well, I told you guys, this Tree of Life, he's a murderous Tree of Life. Or as uh, as Danny said, Tree of Death. All right. The Warden, does he pick up this Claws of Attack? Yeah. Maybe better on the Demon Hunter, but sure. At least he picks it up. He has two parry-ups, one on, on both heroes. He sees, he sees the Zeppelin in the sky. A player's force flying over the knolls, flying over the trees. Right, just flying over the dirt path. Flying, just flying. That's all I'm saying here. He's just flying. There's a Tinker. He has a staff. He has boots. Do you want to creep him over here with the Ancient of War? Is he at tier 3? No, he just keeps at tier 3 of ages. This Tinker takes some damage. Do we have Shadow Strike? Of course. Of course we have Shadow Strike. Does he use it? She uses it. And she goes for the Pocket Factory. There's one. One Clockwork Goblin. There's two. Two Clockwork Goblins. And there's three. Three Clockwork Goblins, 125 mana, pretty good. There's Shadow Strike on the Tinker, he goes back into the Zeppelin. And uh, now he's attacking the Tree of Life from the other side. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is still creeping over here. He's not level 3 yet, but he does a Boots of Quad the last. What a good super item. Imagine if she gives the Claws of Deck to the Demon Hunter. He will do more damage than uh, than a Blade Master would. Does he, does he give the Claws? Give the Claws. And an Orb. There's no Orb because he's still at tier 2. By the way, what is uh, Mr. Blade doing in the meantime? Going to keep, you know. Just going to keep. There's gunpowder upgrade. For uh, for his tanks later. Of course he's going tanks. Hello, it's Twisted Meadows. He's playing against a Warden and a Demon Hunter. Maybe he should go to tier 3, yeah? And get a Panda third. That looks like a great strategy, Jaco. This is the best strategy I've ever heard. Warden, Demon Hunter, Panda. What else do you want? Get them all to level th 6 and you can never leave a game. You can never lose a game. I mean, what uh, what's he doing here? He's going to creep this. 
Where can I legal download Worker 3 to Frozen Throne? On the Battle.net website. On Blizzard's website. The footmen here, they do have... Uh, the, do they not have defense? He's tanking with footmen. He doesn't have defense, apparently. This, uh, this uh, Zeppelin goes down. Ni good work by the Zeppelin. Here comes the Warden. She, of course, she has a fan of... Not fan of ice. She has Shadow Strike. Uh, the, this guy is so much trouble. Now she's gonna kill some footmen. One dead, two dead. Can she get that one? No. She can get the Tome of uh, IQ. She's a bit smarter now. 22 IQ. And here's the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is gonna help. Why does she still have the claws of attack? Hello? This is an item for the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has 33 agility and a very fast attack speed. You have uh, only fast attack speed with 27 agility. In other words, the claws of attack would be so much better on the Demon Hunter. So much better. Maybe we'll give it later. Maybe he's like, okay, I'm harassing with the Warden. I need more attack on the Warden for now while the Demon Hunter is just using his attack against creeps. So let's keep it on the Warden for now. The Warden is hiding here near the flying machines. He's going for flying machines. I was just joking with the tanks, guys. Don't be, uh, you know, don't be fooled by me. I was just joking. That's the, the funniest joke I said all day. Arcane Sanctum is going up. Demon Hunter, does he get another Boots of Quartalas? That would be nice. That would be nice. Belt of Giant Strength, not really that nice. He already has so many, uh, so many parry ups. And the Tinker comes out. Gonna get Shadow Struck by the Warden. He's hiding. He's afraid. He has evasion, but you cannot evade Shadow Strike. Oh, the flying machine sees the warden. I mean, I see the warden, but so does the flying machine. <laughs> On a footman. Over here, meanwhile, we have a demon hunter. He tried here, takes a bit of damage. Does he pick up the circlet? Does he pick it up? There's a rejuvenation on the dryad. Does he pick up the circlet? Come on! The circlet is not a bad item, Sonic. It's a pretty good item. It's better to have it than not have it. If you want to, you can even sell it. Is he gonna pick it up now, maybe? Come on, please. No, no, okay. I mean, you don't have to, I'm just... Okay, well, these tries are 1-1. One, one. This Wisp scouting over here. Is he gonna build a tree of life? No. Not yet. Demon Hunter and the Warden. Now they're creeping together. You'd think there'd be animosity between them. He picks up this circlet somehow. Maybe give the claws to the Demon Hunter. Maybe he can give you a circlet back. Is that not a good trade? Bunch of flying machines against the hippo. This hippo doesn't stand a chance. Oh, again, one hippo. But maybe. Oh, the hippo sneaks in. Do they notice the hippo? Yeah. The hippo again dies. We have two more hippos. There's no Breath of Fire hero yet. Also known as a panda. But we do have an orb on one hero. Does he have an orb on Demon Hunter? No. Only the Warden. Maybe he should give the Claws of Attack and the orb to the Demon Hunter. And let him do the job. Do the work. And let the Warden just harass, kill the Tinker or something. While the Demon Hunter just killing some flying machines. He's going for some more hippos. Flying machines are 2 1 upgraded now. Flying over trees. It's uh, cute. To fly over trees. Flying uh, some more. That's what they do all game, really. They're flying. Oh, he, he wants this hippo so much. But he's being flank attacked by some hippos. Can he defend it against this many hippos? I think so. I think the flying machine should still be able to win. He's gonna lose a few though. But the three one upgraded against one one upgraded. Flying machines much better upgrades. Also more another hippo and forest soul berserker and drives everyone helping out together. As a team they stand strong. Alone they're not as strong. The flying machines flying around. Played a 55 supply. He has so much gold by the way. Sonic 65 supply. Thanks. Does he have barrage? Does he go barrage? No. Oh, he didn't have flat cannon yet. I didn't realize. I did not realize. Oh, he can kill one hippo. Hello, one hippo. Okay, bye-bye, one hippo. 
Here come the tanks. What is this, by the way? Slippers of agility. Why do you have items all over this map? It's uh, worth them being killed by the clockwork goblins. Is he gonna survive? She runs. What a coward. What wow, a coward warden. These tanks here in the center. Being killed by a demon hunter and some drives and a berserker and a hippo. Hippo cannot help really, but it's uh it's looking. It's uh emotional support here. Great job, Mr. Hippo. We have some hippos over here. Hunting down flying machines. Where's the flag cannon? Oh, almost. Once he gets a flag cannon, these flying machines will never lose against these hippos. 1-1 one, one hippos, 3-2 flying machines, 1-1 one, one hippos, 3 attack, 2 defense flying machines. Good luck hippos, uh, flag cannon is upgraded I'm pretty sure by now. And the fly <laughs> all hippos are gone, they just died so fast, it's almost like they were never there. <coughs> the tanks here working on the entangled gold mine, the flying machines are killing his own tree? Oh, there's not his own tree. Why did I think the flying machines and the trees were allies? Hello, Chaco. Welcome to Warcraft 3. Uh, there goes the tree of life. And the warden now killing some more flying machines. They came from behind. And now they're going for this tree. What can he do? He doesn't have a panda. He needs to get a panda right now. Uh, his main gold mine, entangled gold mine, was killed by the tanks. Not the biggest deal of deals. But you know what is a big deal? Not having a panda. This tree is going to die. Hello, Demon Hunter. You need to defend it. You don't even have an orb. You're useless. Okay, he's going for the Ace of the Wind. Sure, there's some Dryads and a Berserker. The Warden here does a little bit of damage, but she's no Demon Hunter either. Maybe if the Demon Hunter had an orb. Maybe an orb of fire would be good here. Meanwhile, look at this. Play just killing some dragons. And uh, they came from behind, though. And uh, that means one dead flying machine. It does splash damage against flying machines. Pretty good. Actually, it doesn't. Does it only do splash damage against land units? I think so. That's probably uh, true. Okay. Replenishment potion is perfect because he can use it and then he can pick up the other one. He has an orb of fire. So good. Blade is going to win this for sure. He gets a red drake egg. Orb of fire is such a good item. You can kill units with the splash damage. You do so much uh, splash damage against air units like these hippos. The 2 1 now, the hippos. Oh, these flying machines though, they take a bit of damage. Did they try to kill something? Maybe he lost a few too many flying machines, but it doesn't matter. Blade is going for an expansion here. He has plenty of flying machines here. He, he can use the flying machines to kill some buildings. Uh, he can use the flying machines to kill some hippos. He can use the tinker to kill stuff as well. Maybe if he can get some level, five, uh, level 6 tinker, this game is already over. I feel like we're gonna see level 6 tinker. Do you guys feel the same? Do you guys feel feel that? I just feel it. It's uh, feel it in, my, in the artery somewhere in my body. There's a circlet. Does he pick up the circlet? He picks up the circlet this time. Did he ever pick up this circlet? Did someone ever pick up the slippers? No, slippers is still there. Man, this demon hunter could have so much agility. Instead, he has uh, yeah, and you know, and an orb. But instead, he has the shitty items with so many flying machines over here. Here comes the warden. I mean, he has a few good items, but no orb still, and no panda. Still, so many creeps left. So if he went panda, he could just creep the panda to level five in a matter of seconds. At least level three, in a matter of microseconds. Do we have level six tinker? I'm not sure how he got level six. Maybe killing some hippos or something. But he's level six now. And does he get the circlet? Tinker? No. Why no one likes circlet? No one likes circlet. No one likes slippers. Uh, we're in here defending here. He has uh, beautiful hippos aiding her. There's two two hippos now, but we have three three flying machines. This cut over here, three flying machines against a bear. Who wins that? Uh, it's a draw. It was a trick question because the the flying machines won't kill the bear and the bear won't kill the flying machines. Here comes the demon hunter, mana burn there on the tinker. Look at this fight. It's a beautiful fight. The tinker though. What is he doing? He's uh, killing some drives and then he's retreating. The bear, look, he takes no damage. The flying machines are still just taking it. There goes the dryad. He's going for the next dryad. Meme over here. Flying machines. In the air. They can kill the flying uh, the hippos. Two flying machines do go down though to the warden. Demon Hunter is going for the tinker. Nice mana burn. Tinker, is he gonna? Tinker wants to kill the bear. He wants to help out his, his uh, flying machines a little bit. 
you know, just right clicking a bear. Nice job. Like, he, look how much damage he did. The tank was still full hit points, and now he's already almost dead. Uh, there's 27 mana burn, and he does staff out. Oh, flying machines, they do do damage against drys, actually. There's another reason why they can't kill the bear. Rejuvenate. That is just so nice. They came from behind. Flying machines killing a druid of the Talon. Wow, oh, that hurts. If you're druid of the Talon, at least. The Tree of Life is in trouble. Can he defend it? The warden cannot defend by herself. Hello. Maybe uproot? Okay, doesn't need to uproot. I was just suggesting, right? I wasn't saying, like, he should uproot. It was just a suggestion. Uh, flying machines 33. Flies over the piggy. Someone pigs over here. We have more flying machines over there. 55 is flying in 66, but Blade is so much money. He can get so many more flying machines. Maybe you should build another workshop if it's too much uh, macro with, with just three workshops. He also has a priest over here, by the way, that can heal. So initiate priest. Demon hunter far away from level 6. The warden, she blinks over. See, she's fighting now against the flying machines. Should really be flying, uh, fighting that. Imagine just taking on like 12 helicopters by yourself with your with a tambourine and winning. Well, that's the warden, guys. That's amazing. That's how amazing warden is. Oh, too many uh, hippos. Flying machines that retreat, kind of. A few of them die. We have flying machines over there as well. Uh, this expansion is totally up. Where's the tinker at? Where, where was he at? I haven't seen him in a while. He didn't die, right? Didn't die, but I don't know where he is. Oh, here he is. Tinker is creeping with the orb of fire. He does so much damage against his dragon. And he has a pocket factory as well. So the berserkers are dying to the pocket factory. The tinker is, uh, he's doing a great job against his dragon. Is he just calling Kindrim by himself? Yeah, sure, he has a bit of backup, but really he did by himself. Wand of Illusion. Okay, well, <coughs> he's going for an expansion here, of course. Potion of Divinity. There's an expansion going up. He could use the Wand of Illusion on some flying machines, maybe. Can you use, uh... Or maybe on the Tinker. He staffs. He staffs to the priest. And priest gonna heal him. They came from behind. These uh, these guys that don't stand a chance. Demon hunters. Uh, Warden is level six, by the way, but we need a level six demon hunter to take care of these flying machines. Although the flying machines are just gonna run away, but just a few attacks here from a level six metamorphosis uh, demon hunter can kill so many of them. Also, he can kill uh, bases, but on the island, there's two islands. I wonder if he knows about uh, those expansions. Flying machines are flying over, flying over the map. A town is under siege. You know, over here. Demon Hunter working on the Arcane Tower. Rejuvenation. Try it goes down. He kills this Arcane Tower. Maybe he can kill enough here to get level 6. If he kills all the peasants, maybe that would be enough, but I'm not sure. Kills some towers. There's a pocket factory. Of course he goes for the pocket factory. He loses dry though. Meanwhile, the warden just... Killing these uh, flying machines. Pocket factory is down. Two drives are down. Tinker level 7. He's going for the next tower. Flying machines helping out. Five, fl six flying machines. He cannot even repair this uh, tower because he doesn't have enough surface area. Uh, meanwhile, the warden is still hunting down these uh, flying machines. Demon Hunter fighting against the Tinker. Does he win this fight? There's only one tower, but there is an orb of fire on this Tinker doing so much damage. With the Demon Hunter, I think he still wins this fight. Maybe he should repair his Tinker. He should have just repaired his Tinker. Should, should have just placed his Tinker over there and fast repaired it with five peasants. And then he could have just killed this uh, Demon Hunter. Although there's a Rejuvenation, which is of course pretty powerful. More powerful than Repair maybe is. The board is still hunting down these uh, flying machines. There's a Hippo. Demon Hunter going for the tower. Are we going to see a Master Bear? I mean a Bear Bear. He's going for Bear Bear for him. And Demon Hunter and the Bear Bear. Just doing a bit of damage. We have uh, 43 against 59 supplies. Sonic is slowly falling behind. Can he keep up that expansion? Maybe not slowly. I mean, Blade is so much money. Hello. Even if he loses this base, he still has two bases mining. What is this, by the way? 
the tree of life going up and bears defending but here comes the fleet of flying machines the warden wants to defend I mean the warden she's she's just not a good hero to hunt down flying machines sure you can you can uh, with the blink you can keep up but she does so little damage there goes the tree like the the flying machines they just ignore the warden and they just keep killing stuff and the warden, she, she keeps blinking, 10 mana a blink, and doing like uh, 2 damage. Like the poison orb also doesn't work against that uh, against the flying machines. Demon Hunter is level 6 now, by the way. If you just use metamorphosis, he could kill this workshop so fast. Uh, and he, I mean, he doesn't. Which means that we'll see some tanks here in a moment. Hello guys, can you help out? Can you help out the Demon Hunter a little bit? Guys, please. But meanwhile, we have a Tree of Eternity. Fighting against the Tinker over here. And uh, someone needs to save this Tree of Eternity because he cannot win the fight against the Tinker. Tree of Eternity, sure, he solos a lot of heroes pr pretty easily. Level 7 Tinker? No. No. No chance. And the Flying Machine's over here. Oh, is he gonna lose an expansion? Is Sonic gonna lose an expansion? Sure, he killed the base, but if he loses an expansion, it's gonna. Oh, wow, wow. GG, Tree of Eternity. It was uh, nice knowing you. Watch out, Wisp. We have an Orb of Fire. He does so much splash damage. One Wisp is going to die. This tree is also dead. Hippo's fighting against Flying Machines, but you're not gonna win this fight. Of course not. Uh, flying Machines are, are like the, the natural counter to, to Hippos. And uh, the Hippos are all dead here. What can the Warden do? Nothing really. Sonic has no more income. At this point, tanks. He can just keep throwing tanks at the problem. Or Flying Machines. Or anything really. Still not Panda for Sonic. He ha doesn't have any more income. He only has 140 gold. Flying machines flying around. And uh, there's a bear still sitting over there. The Avatar working her, her way through these buildings slowly. Just very slowly. Very, very slowly. The demon, what can he do? Maybe kill the Tinker. Hello, Circlet. Hello. Just saying hello. Maybe demon will pick it up. Maybe that's his way back into this game. Nope. Imagine if he had this circlet and this slippers of agility on the demon hunter. He would have five more agility and he would give him the orb and he would uh, Just win the game then he'd, he'd be in such a good shape But he doesn't the tanks going for the altar the altar going down pretty fast with three tanks And then maybe they go for the moon wells like you know, there's just some trees here the warden here using uh, Avatar I mean the Avatar at least just normal damage which means it does like 70% damage against tanks, which is really a lot of damage compared to, uh, you know, uh, Warden herself, for example, who only does 50% damage against the tanks. These tanks are going down pretty, uh, I don't know, not really fast, not really slow either. There's some Ancients of War helping out. So one tank is left, but of course he has more units. There was a bear doing over here, just sitting over there. Flying machines flying around. Hippo flying around. Demon Hunter just using a nice uh, metamorphosis and killing a tower. I mean, you can go for a tower. I think maybe he should have gone for the castle, but he's going for a tower. Or, you know, or the farm even. Right? Like, he, he splash damage, he does chaos damage. Right? Tower, you can always kill a tower. You don't need chaos damage to kill towers. Well, cannon tower, sure, go for the cannon tower. Okay, he gets uh, the cannon towers cancelled. Meanwhile, an Ancient of War goes down. He, uh, he's in range of the Arcane Tower now. Oh, he's going for the Arcane Tower. At least the splash damage here has, uh, does some damage against these other towers. Okay, he's just killing the towers. I mean... Good job, Demon Hunter. You're killing towers. Wisp here dying to the Tinker. Tinker with his biggest hammer. You you think he just one shot the Wisps. But his hammer is not big enough. Maybe he needs a bigger one. We see flying machines here still just doing whatever they want tanks and more uh, units i really feel like blade should get some more workshops somewhere on this map to win this game faster there goes another uh, another tower right like three workshops just not enough he needs like six or so you know maybe we can ferry over some peasants to over here and build some workshops over there tinker is working on this uh look how fast the angel of wonder dies three hits is dead now he's going for the angel of lore I believe the Ancients are like the easiest to kill for the Tinker because the Tinker doesn't actually do siege damage He just does heroic damage times three against buildings. So against fortified uh, 
buildings it would be first times a half and then times three so it's only 150 percent damage but against uprooted ancients it's just 300 percent damage so that's so much damage he's running away from demon hunter because he's scary sure the ancient war is going to die some more buildings maybe at some point uh, Sonic doesn't have that ma many buildings left. Sure, he has a tree of uh, life over here. And the Tinker could kill it with a div divinity potion. Sure, why not? 25 seconds? You could kill the tree. Why run away? I mean... It's not like you're gonna use this divinity potion in this game. Why not just use it to kill the tree of life? I'm just saying... You could uh, take a shortcut to winning this game. You're gonna win this game anyway. It's a matter of time at this point. Flying machines flying around, you know, he's not gonna kill some more buildings. And uh, the bear going for a farm. The flying machines flying so much, man. They're so good at flying. Uh, there's some tanks, okay. Use your tanks, that's fine, uh, you know. And stop to your, to your base and heal up. Flying machines, they took a lot of damage. This ancient wind is uprooting. These tanks, they're working the, the way through this tree of eternity. It's actually just a tree of life, but... Uh, it seems like it lasts for an eternity. That's why I call it a tree of eternity. These tanks, uh, can they kill it? Only one tank can attack it. If he maybe moves it uh, to the side a little bit. So, oh, he gets it. Nice. They came from behind. One bear working on the arcane vault, but the flying machine is trying to kill it. The Tinker has plenty of hit points, but there's rejuvenation, Demon Hunter. He doesn't give up very easily. He's working on the Zap Shredder. Does Sonic not know about these expansions, by the way? I guess he doesn't. I guess he just doesn't know. But he's seen the items? No. Yeah, he's seen the Poison of Divinity, right? Did he see the Red Drake egg? Or did he sell it or something? I'm not sure I've, I've seen the Red Dragon. He doesn't have it anymore, obviously. Here comes the warden. She uh, she's gonna help kill tanks. That's a job she loves to do. Kappa, just like the panda. Now the panda actually loves this. The panda really likes killing tanks. Uh, and <laughs> Tinker just helping out, killing some uh, buildings. Three tanks going for this hunter's hold. Tinker's back in human for oh, he takes a shadow strike. That's uh, because he's back in human form. He can take shadow strikes again. I'm not sure why he went human form there. Like, was there any reason? Well, Priesty! Priesty John! You think you need you? Flying machines uh, working on a wisp. Okay, yeah, kill some wisps. The tanks here killing the buildings. There's three angels of winds left. Maybe you should just take off. Fly away to a different map because. Uh, well, I guess actually at this point they can't fly away because the flying machines will catch them. I'm just saying, you know, you're not uh, going to survive. Oh, what's this? He's hiding an ancient of war over there, Kappa. <laughs> and uh, the, the demon hunter and the warden, they're trying to kill all the flying machines. He doesn't really, he definitely didn't realize about the expansions, man. There's no way he realized that, that we have two expansions here for Blade. He thinks this is all he has. He thinks there's no more income for Blade. And he's being revealed the Ancient of War. The flying machines are going for the Ancient of War. Can he get this Ancient of War? Will this be on YouTube? Yeah, all the finals are on YouTube of uh, most tournaments I cast. This Ancient of War is dead. Sometime in the future. There's another Tree of Life. The Warden here is killing some flying machines. We have bladed 42 supply only, but he still has plenty of monies to build whatever he wants. This uh, Tinker finds the Angel of War. Wait, why does he go back? Oh, is this... Is this Micro? Or was it Miss Micro? Angel of War eats another tree. The flying machines. Are they gonna try to kill this tree? Yeah, I know this tree of life is beautiful. This tree is dead, guys. The Tinker going for the next tree. I mean, I'm not sure if he knows there's a tree here. Did he scout it at some point? Don't think so. So he's probably just gonna drive past it. And go to somewhere over here where he expects there to be more trees. Or does he see it? He sees it. And he's going for it. And he knows there's an ancient war there. There, No castle. Tree is dead. There's only one ancient of war over here that he can kill. He should kill. Don't go for the warden. Hello, she's level 8. Flying machines. You guys should know you don't stand a chance against a level 8 warden with the orb. Do you want to level 7? Dark Weaver. Sell some items. Hey. 
There's some more items if you want to sell them. One over there, one over here. You know, maybe the bear could pick it up. He cannot pick up items, but... It's the Angel of War, it's the last Angel of War. Do we have some wisps anywhere? Yeah, but... Yeah, actually just sold some items so you can build more buildings. Great. The bear's now under attack by some helicopters. Oh, he just now realizes Expo on Islands and beautiful smiley face here by Blade. And there's the Tree of Life. And there he uses a reveal. This ex this gold mine is almost empty. GG. Okay, well, this map, right? Last time we saw this map it was Blade against Orc Worker. It was like not really the most exciting game we've ever seen because they were creeping the entire map. Maybe in this matchup we'll see a more exciting game. Maybe we'll see another Tinker. No, we don't. Maybe we see a Mountain King first. Maybe we see a non Warden play here. Or maybe we'll see a Warden play. Sonic, he has so many options he could go for. He could go for Warden. That, that's about it. And uh, Blade here, he, he has a few options. He could go for Archmage. He could go for uh, Mountain King. He could go for Paladin first. He goes uh, Archmage. Okay. And we do indeed have a Warden. And the Ancient of War here is going to creep this mercenary camp and get some mercenaries. Nice uh, start here by Sonic. There's an archer. There we have an archmage and some footmen. In game, sound a bit louder, please. You, re you do other people agree with that? Because you know I keep changing the in-game sound. Some people want louder, some people want it less loud. The footman is, uh, he sees a, a wisp. Is he going for the wisp? He attacks a wisp. Again. Attack. Again, not louder, please. In game music, too loud, man. Not louder. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll just keep it as this. We have two footmen here. Here's the Archmage. We have not just any arc bases, a Lannister. And is he going for this creep camp? This drops such a super odd, uh, item. Such a good item is dropped over here. It's gonna be, uh, you know, healing wars level item. Aces of War going up. Meanwhile, the Warden here, what did she get? She's got an Info Potion. And the Ancient of War and the Archer and the Forest of Shadow Priest will finish off this uh, creep camp. Meanwhile, Ancient of War is uh, interesting here. This means he can creep a little bit in a moment. And uh, the Archmage here, but does he get Book of the Dead? Book of the Dead, not maybe super duper good against Night Elf. Because, you know, they have... Uh, they have beautiful Wisps that can detonate it. The Warden, the next Phantom Knives, they're gonna do so much damage. Uh, what? Didn't seem like it did that much damage. Anyway. Uh, is he gonna be surrounded? No, of course not. Is he gonna kill another peasant? There it is. This peasant is still alive. The warden, what's he going for? She is going for the another peasant. But does he get the peasant? It's nighttime now. Her cloak of shadows is active. And she kills the peasant. And walks around a little bit. Now she stands over there. He can go for a surround. He could even use the book of the dead here. To make sure she's surrounded. I mean, he could just surround with footmen, really. Why does he not surround the Archmage here? Uh, Warden, I mean. The Warden go for the Peasant. Does he buy dust? He does have dust. And boots of speed. Actually, the Warden will have to TP here. Well, she had blink, right? She but still, it's not enough. This Peasant goes down, and there's the TP. Two more Peasants show up. Come on, repair. Help. I mean, it's not repair. Fast build. Warden, uh, Water Element over here. Does he use the Book of the... He saw the Book of the Dead. I'm not sure if I like that. Even if you don't want to use it, you can still use it to creep. A player's forces are under attack. Right, just make sure there's no wisps around and they just start creeping. The warden here gets a nice sentry ward, pretty good item. Just killing some more trolls. There's an uh, archer over here. Here comes the archmage. Going for a force of shadow priest. Level 3 warden now though. Although she has blink and shadow uh, fan of knives. So no shadow strike. He should be able to get away. And he's getting away. Of course, 
the warden just runs past the footman and he's going for uh, maybe some more peasants over there maybe some peasants over here oh there's no there's no tower and she will see it all but the sentry ward or if she, actually she won't but she would just blink in or something oh yeah there is a sentry ward I figured he wouldn't place sentry ward in the main because he placed one over there kinda you know Nice assumption there by me, but I missed the assumption to detonate there in the face of the Archmage. Does he have a Hunter Soul? No. So no ultra vision. He's going for this Wisp. The Wisp can detonate maybe. There it is. Nice detonation. There's so many Forest Soul Shadow Priests here, or two of them. So they detonate the Water Metal. This uh, Wisp does retreat. There's too much damage here. Blade can't do shit. Has to retreat and meanwhile the Warden sitting here she has another fan of knives here in a moment ah, ah, ah. she killed three of them or four of them even wow thanks for the sub exploding cats welcome to the chaco bell and uh thanks for the sport beautiful sport i should say here are some uh, taco flavor keysies i'll give them right now in chat those are just for you Hope you like them. More than hiding here. She killed a few more peasants. And she's hiding. And she stops out. Meanwhile, we have some footmen retreating. The warden. Is he close to level 4? Yes, he's close to level 4. So close. The Archmage is only uh, level 2. This ancient war with the archers is going to creep this. Get level 4. And she will be close to level 5 even. Looks pretty good here for the warden. Player's forces are under attack. Archmage just drink some clarity. Here goes the warden. And she's gonna hit level four. She's gonna kill some footman. Fan of knives, there it goes one. She's she's level four. And uh bye bye footman. She, <laughs> after this is done, she's already almost level five. Is this tier two? Is he tier two? No, not yet. Okay, this will take a little bit longer. Archmage is level 2, you know, nice, uh, 330 XP on the Archmage, the Warden, over 3 times as much XP, 1063, Renegade Wizard is dead, Healing Wards, Ring of Protection drops here, she's level 4.45, uh, maybe you can get level 5 before the Archmage is level 2, uh, level 3 I mean, that would be the ultimate Warden, can she blink over, she blinks over, here comes the Archmage, but the Warden already there. She took a shortcut. Archmage, what is he up to? What is the Archmage up to? Sells a ring, buys a staff, buys an info potion. And is he going for a Wisp? I mean, he does a little bit of damage to a Wisp. What else can he do here? He gets slowed. Guess he stops out. That's it. So. Water metal can be uh, killed or dispelled. I mean, no dispel really needed over here. He does use a dispel. Gets the water metal, builds the ancient floor. Just one. There's a tree of life over here and the ancient floor. There's the other one. And meanwhile, over here, Blade. He's almost at keep. Getting another guard tower. Is there a shop somewhere? You know what I feel Sonic should get? A shop. Does he have a shop? He uh, does not have a shop. But he's not a tier 3 yet, is he? No, so antimatic shells not available yet for Sonic. He buys a panda. He's gonna creep maybe, get a level 5 warden and a level uh, 3 panda. Win the game, that looks like a good strategy. Are under There's gunpowder. He's going to castle. Blade going to castle. The panda and the warden is creeping over here. The muddy as well helping out. Nice, good job, Bunny. Nice job. Panda picks up a Scourge Bone Chimes. There, he picks up Tome of Agil uh, Intelligence. Warden is close to level 5. Panda's close to level 2. He does have the Scourge Bone Chimes, and that will help later Here's with, you know, maybe bears. Back. But if he's going bears at this, he might not see bears. He's too late now. Earlier was too early. Now it's too late to do anything. A town 
is under siege. What can they do here? Maybe get some more wisps. Goes for the entangled gold mine. There's a fake archmage. Takes care of a wisp, but his main is under attack. Mountain King is out. Muddy! No, Muddy! You're just tanking towers, Muddy. Muddy the, the tower tank. That's what we call him now. Uh, Panda, you know, he's using Breath of Fires and stuff. There's another fed of knives. I mean, the Archmage goes back, but how can they defend this? The, the Warden and the Panda, too strong. Haze, Breath of Fire on the Footman. This Forced Shadow Priest does die. There's another fed of knives. He's killing peasants. He's killing footmen at the same time. Oh, no, he backs off a little bit. This Forced Shadow Priest is in a bit of trouble. Uh, he does die. There's another Breath of Fire. Meanwhile, the Warden killing his peasant. Good job by the Warden. This Footman is very low on hit points. We have one more first set of priest, but he's out of mana. There's a stormbolt on that berserker. The berserker is under fire. The drive maybe can uh, help out a little bit. There's this archer is also dead, but he kills most of the footmen. Does the drive? Do they have the uh, dispel? Maybe, maybe just finished upgrading. There's the, yeah. There's a dispel. This archer is so dead. The warden just killed every peasant here. Every peasant that was alive is now dead. He has some more over here actually, but uh, maybe we'll kill those later. For now, he is busy with the water elemental. Some more dispels. Oh, did you see the stormbolt? It was a beautiful stormbolt. Hit the archer right in the face, even though he, he wasn't in front of the archer. He was at 90 degrees uh, to her left. And there goes a peasant. The warning killing another peasant. She's pretty good at killing peasants, I have to say. She's level 5. This uh, panda is level 3 now. 5 plus 3 is almost 8. I mean, it is 8, but I mean, it's almost like as if he has one level 8 hero. This Archmage is level 3. The, the Mountain King is level 1. The Warden, is he buying a, a shredder? I guess he needs a lumber. It's a 50 to supply. He does have the healing ward, so maybe he could use it if he wants to. He doesn't have to. He could creep this maybe with the warden or without the warden, but I mean the warden doesn't need XP, but then you could use the healing ward. Heal the panda and the warden at the same time. But oh, this stormbolt is gonna be powerful. No, the dry slow down the mountain king. No, oh, the, he still dies. The mountain king is level two. Holy light on the mountain king. We have some ancient wars uh, a bit early, right? No, not early. Perfect timing on the ancient of wars. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, so slightly early still, but fine. It's fine. It's pretty good timing. The warden is she gonna blink in? Yeah, she's gonna f go for more peasants. Does she have the anti magic shell yet? No, she is uh, hiding in the shadows. Tree of Eternity is going up. Do we see a nature's blessing? No nature's blessing. Uh oh, maybe uh, maybe there's a comeback here for Blade. There's no nature's blessing. Try to attack the tank. These drives are attacking another tank. Where's Muddy? We need another Muddy. The other Muddy died. Muddy would be nice against the tanks. He can slow tanks, and then the tanks they don't move that fast. They attack a bit slower. Yeah, it's pretty good. Muddy. No, no Muddy. What about Druid of the Talon? No, he doesn't have an instant of the wind. Which is interesting. Why is he cutting down these trees? Does he really want to cut down these trees over here? They're, they offer so much protection for your tree of eternity or tree of life. He does get nature's blessing. I think you're better off cutting these other trees. But now you make this tree so much easier to kill. The warden over here. You see a blade. He grabbed this creep camp. This uh, wisp detonates on his face. Hey Chuckle, what do you say? I gift you a sub for the Grubbish channel so he feels at home in yours. Sure. <laughs> this, uh, this tank is 4 hit points. This tank over here is going for the Haunted Gold Mine. Are they master yet? They're not master yet. He's going master now. Warden in a Zeppelin. Is that fair or is that fair? It's pretty fair, right? I feel like it's fair. Just killing all the peasants. It doesn't feel fair if you're a peasant. Because you just die. Because a Zeppelin drops a warden. Level 5 warden around. But if you're the warden, it feels very fair. She's almost level 6. There's so many bodies around here. Imagine if she got level 6 and she uh, 
casted the spell over there. Panda is a little bit surrounded. Do we see a staff of preservation? No. We do see a nice uh, fan of knives. There's some master bears. This panda is actually uh, is dead, guys. Where's the zeppelin now? Where's your zeppelin now, Sonic? Oh, stormed on the warden. Can he kill the warden as well? Some bashes would be nice here. That's not a bash. She blinks out. The bears here trying to kill spellbreakers. Oh, he kills one. The dried is dead. Ah! He's going for the next spellbreaker. This dried. Cause, ah! They're all dying. The dries are dying. Oh, but there's the avatar. There goes another dried. So many dries are dead. We have a tank here in the in the back. I mean, he's going to the front. He's going to try to move past these bears. There's a nice roar. Does he get past? I feel like he should just blockade. The, no, he doesn't make a blockade. He kills another spellbreaker. I guess he was micro his warden instead of these units. Because he could have uh, just prevented the <laughs> tanks from showing up. But three ancient of wars. Welcoming parting for the tanks. Hey tanks, we were expecting you. I hope you like our uh, party. And the warden, you know, she is over here now. Panda is going, coming back. We have a nice fight here between the Spellbreaker and the Dryad. Spellbreaker is 1-0 upgraded. He doesn't do extra damage against the Dryad. So the Dryad actually wins the fight. Because the Dryad, her poison is effective on the Spellbreaker. The Spellbreaker can't use his uh, feedback on the Dryad. There's Holy Light on the Spellbreaker. The Dryad, she gets away though. She's so fast. Meanwhile, Warden is killing more peasants. Finally, she has the anti magic shell. So she can just keep killing peasants. She doesn't have to hide. Uh, afraid of towers. Like... Who would want to hide from towers? I, I don't like to hide from towers. This uh, warden doesn't like to hide from towers. She has one more peasant to kill, and then she can, you know, escape with the staff, uh, or use the mana potion and blink, or just walk out. You know, I'm just saying she has many options. We have uh, more peasants here to kill if she wants to. She has a mana potion after all. There's a rejuvenation. Archmage and the Mount King and the Paladin. Working together, pendant of energy. Maybe good for the mountain king. Then he has infinite storm bolts. Why pick it up with your paladin, which is already low mana? I hate it when people do this. It's uh, maybe he didn't think about it. Maybe he didn't look at it. But he doesn't uh, get any mana by keeping this on the pal uh, paladin. On the mountain king, it would have been so good. He was at full mana. He would have gotten so many storm bolts. Ah. Nice TP out. By Blade. Blade's lone wood, apparently. Doesn't he have a Shredder, or do we only have a Shredder for Sonic? No Shredder. Look at the Zeppelin. By the way, do you guys remember this spot? It's a beautiful spot for a tower. Unfortunately, Sonic cannot build a tower there. But Blade could. He could build a tower there. Tree of Life. Actually, I'm not sure if Human can build a tower here. Maybe only Orc can build towers there. Because human, they need more space, right? They need space for the tower and the peasant building the tower. Okay, this uh, water elemental got perched. Long stream, Chaco. No, yesterday was a long stream. Today is gonna, uh, you know, a bit so shorter stream than yesterday. 57 supply against 64. This, uh, the night is... Running for his horsey life. Spellbreaker here. Is he going to die? There's a holy light on the spellbreaker. The warden level 6. The panda level 3. Oh, there's your zeppelin. He gets a zeppelin. This zeppelin. But it doesn't matter. There's a warden in his base. There's a panda creeping his creep camps. With the scourge bone challenge. With the bears. Getting the Zeppelin is nice. Getting a, two bears for free is also nice. Panda's level 4. We have another expansion here for Sonic. He picks up Cloak of Shadows and the... Uh, Wand of Lightning Shield. This bear gets storm bolted. Well, we have a lot of Spellbreakers. They're magic immune. And don't have enough bears, apparently. So he escapes. Meanwhile, the Warden is still killing stuff over here. She's a, she's a wonderful mur murderess. She's just so good at it. It's 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 such a wonderful sight to behold. Unfortunately, the avatar is stuck now. I feel kind of sorry for this avatar. Just being stuck, killing uh, buildings that don't really matter too much. 
Okay, and what do you see for Blade? He's creeping the centers. Center creeps. Let's see what he gets here. <laughs> Potion of Invul. Pretty good. The Warden finds a Spellbreaker. He's killing the Spellbreaker. Go to Human Expansion, please. It looks the same. I'm not sure what exactly you want me to look for, but that's uh, the human expansion. The warden blinking around. 540 mana pella. Well, is he full mana now? He has plenty of mana. Here, now we have a warden killing more peasants. Good job, Mr. Warden. The next uh, fan of knives. So you have to use the mana potion. That's what she uses. The mana potion. These peasants are all going down. Ah, ah. There goes another peasant. The warden stops out. And uh, this bear is dead. Now she has Vampiric Aura, so she can get so much life back. Look at bears against spellbreakers. With Vampiric Aura, this, the spellbreakers don't stand a chance, even if they have an upgrade over the bears. This dried here is dead. And, uh, I mean, one bear is attacking the Archmage. They're attacking everyone. The panda in a bit of trouble. He has a greater healing potion. He's breath of fire here on the mountain king. The mountain king's still alive here. The panda does retreat a little bit. He gets storm bolted. Is he going to die? The warden blinks right to next to him. Uh, but you know, just to kill everything next to him, I guess. With the fan of knives, because the panda did go down. But the bears, you know, they're still alive. They're just attack moving through whatever blade has. Right. Right. Town is under siege. Well, that is still this avatar. Just there's a knight over there. Hello. Oh, the warden blinks around. She tried to blink again, but she missed. I mean, she missed. She was a second too late. She blinks again. There's another rejuvenation. We have a bunch of master bears. We have angels of wars here. Did you forget about us? We uh, we like giving welcome parties. Mantle of IQ lying around over there. Maybe something nice for the warden. If she, if she wants more IQ, she's out of mana again. Right? If she had the mantle of IQ, she would have so much more mana. Bears here just attack moving. Doesn't matter. The one of them is going to die. There's plenty more where that one came from. Uh, water elementals, though, they're pretty strong. Level three water elementals. The warden. She bought some more items. Probably drinks more moon juice. So clarity potions. Sure. Bears here are dying slowly, but the warden shows back up. Uh, don't lose your warden though. She brings out. Did she not? Was there no anti-magic shells she could buy? She just wants uh, the circle uh, clarities. Bear here fighting against two knights in the mountain king. He gets bashed. He gets bashed. This is a hippo over there, by the way. Is a panda back yet? Panda, where are you? There's the panda. We'll be back in a moment. Bear goes down. Level 7 warden, can you blink in here and kill some more peasants? Yeah. And that's what she does. And now she's hiding. Oh, the bears are killing the paladin. Well, there's uh, some pe more peasants here again. 3.5k gold left over there. 3.3k gold left over there. Bears are killing knights and stuff. Uh, we have some drives as well. There's some more drives showing up. And uh, this bear uh, knight. Does not fall. It gets out. There's some more discos here for the water elementals. There it is. There's one. There's another one. One more maybe. The warden. Fat of dive skill stuff in the back. She's level 8. Hello. Level 8 warden. Hello. We have a storm bolt available. But she does a blink of course. Closer he is. The more likely that he can hit the storm bolt. But this expansion is 9.5k. This expansion just set down. Which means his main is out of gold. And this is uh, 4k. Okay. The warden just got storm bolted. She does blink out. He's busy. Paladin over there. What a nice game. 77 supply for Sonic. 46 for Blade. Here come the, uh, the Ancients of War with the attack move. Panda's back. Breath of Fire. He's level 5. Uh, Mountain King, can he hold the door here? Can he hold this door? This uh, entire army is just holding it by himself. Sure, there's a knight as well that was helping out a little bit, but that doesn't really count. He's no hero, he's just a plap. The Mountain King, he, he gets away. Do we see some more dispels? I guess he doesn't have mana. The Ancients of War. 
What can they do? Besides the attack move. They're not even on attack move. They're on move command. Now he attacks moves. Level 5 panda coming back. One ancient of war goes down. This is just like uh, the movie Lord of the Rings. Where a bunch of bears and trees attack together. And dryads. I mean slightly different I guess than... Lord of the Rings but... We have some more dryads helping out. And the warden is going f for the back door. Is he going to kill more peasants? Or is he going to kill more heroes? If he kills more peasants, does he have to enter back shell? Of course. Of course. Bears on attack move. Dryads on attack move. He's down to uh, plenty of units. Let's try it here. <laughs> this tank is... Uh, this knight is stuck. We have another avatar and the, uh, the warden just killing the towers over here. The ancient of wars, they want some blood. They want to see human blood. This one is dead. Okay. This one is going for the base over there. There's two ancient of wars just holding the front. They're, they're delaying. They're delaying the human army. It's too strong. They're dying. One went down. The other one, he eats a tree. He's still alive, guys. The ancient is no longer alive. There's no, one more ancient that can maybe buy some more time for uh, for the panda and the bears and the drives to ruthlessly kill the peasants. I mean, they need some extra time. Hello, ancients. To sacrifice their life for such a noble cause. Also, the warden, uh, she could kill all the peasants at the other base in the meantime. Uh, some more dispels on the water elementals. This one as well. The dry though, does fall. And nice staff out on this priest, but... He's still healing? What? Or got this spot somehow? Anyway, it doesn't matter because the panda is pretty low on hit points. Uh, we don't have a staff preservation. What the fuck? How come we still don't have a staff? <laughs> this entire game we played without staff. And nice attack moves here by the bears, by the warden, by the dryads. Their spellbreaker goes down. We have a mortar team, by the way. Was he sneakily attacking from the other side of the trees? Now he's sneakily attacking from over here. But the warden sees him. And she knows, like, mortar teams are very nice to kill you know she has killed more units this game than any famous uh, historian ever has killed historian <laughs> this, this uh, paladin healing a little bit up you know that's what he likes to do the bear there with a nice rejuvenation do we get chimeras or something you know do we have an angel of wind we do have an angel of wind we have a panda we have a second angel of wind he could go for some uh, Druids of the Talent since there's no spellbreakers left. Well, there's one left. Um, no, no Chimeras. If this was foggy, we'd see like four roost, roots, roosts of Chimeras and he would, he'd be massing them right now. He'd be the 100 supply of Chimeras. But it's not foggy. It's Sonic and he's 80 supply on uh, Night Elf. He doesn't want to go 80, over 80. There's plenty of gold and lumber. Thanks against Knights and Mountain Kings. This uh, Thordin, Rock Bear, taking a little bit of damage from the, tank, uh, the bears. The Warden blinks in. She's taking so much damage herself from the bashes. She's hiding, hiding in the shadows. Because she has a green screen. And this uh, this uh, this bear got, dies. There's another Shadow Fan of Knives. And this knight is dead. She's level 9 now, level 2 Shadow Strike. The Mountain King in a bit of trouble. She lost it then. Ha ha ha, Shadow Strike. But the Warden, she's pretty low. Can she, can she blink out? She blinks out. She will survive. The Archmage doesn't survive. And there it is. GG by Blade. What an even game. Okay. The third game here between Sonic and Blade. Sonic won one. Blade won two of them. Together, the yellow and blue, they make the, up the flag of Sonic. The Ukraine flag. If there was a red player in the game, maybe they could have uh, made Blade's flag. But there's no red player in this game. We do have a altar. A Ancient of War. And a Moonwell for Sonic. Let me not move the camera too fast, you know, just so you guys. Your eyes are gonna be just fine, guys. Just smoothly. Let me warn you, I'm going to the human's base. It will be a big transition from one screen to another screen. There. Over here at the human's base, at Blade's base, we see an Archmage and a Footman. I mean, we'll soon we'll have a Footman. And uh, 7 milliseconds for upsell. What the fuck? What's my ping? What is my ping? 
53. 53 ping. And we'll have an Archmage and Footman. And more Peasants. And the Archmage. And more Footman. More Peasants. The transition from day to night is gonna be hell. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do about it. Oh, let's go back to the Nido base. Prepare yourself. There. We have uh, Wisp beautifully. Look at this minimap. One over there, one over here, or one over there. And there we have a demon hunter. No warden, hello! Is this the first game where we don't see a warden? I think so. And he kills the ogre! And he picks up the circlet. That's what a demon hunter can do, yeah. You think a warden is strong? Just look at this demon hunter just Four. killing units so fast. Just one hit, one kill on that ogre. I Meanwhile, this footman here is uh, Archer. Maybe take a step back. The footman is ensnared. Oh, so nice. He kills the troll, and now she's working on the footman. The footman takes a lot of damage. Meanwhile, over here, the Archman gets a class of attack. There's a piggy. The team hunter. He sees the Archmage. He sees him. Also, sees the creeps. He wants to bloodlust them. So he wakes them up. He's like, hey, guys. You guys are about to be attacked and they're so angry and they're like no we're not we're you're gonna kill you and then they go back and they're still bloodlusted and then when uh when blade is finally gonna creep that creep camp guess what they're still bloodlusted maybe is this the footman came back archer here finishes this creep camp team hunter just walking past the footman nice mana burn on the archmage he has mana from one more water elemental, and here comes the militia. Bunch of militia. Archmage is showing up with uh, maybe water elemental. There it is. And look, you see this guy is still bloodlusted, and now he bloodlust this guy as well. And this guy is also bloodlusted. Everyone bloodlusted. And uh, the demon of mana burns the Archmage for 50. Detonate of the Arch water elemental. The Ogre Magi does go to Blade, though. And the demon hunter. Another mana burn on the Archmage. Archer also shows up. She's like, hello. Hello. Meanwhile, he's stacking. He has a Hunter's Hole. He's getting Ultra Vision. He's getting more uh, Archers, I think. Unless he goes for a Hunter's. He's going for a Hunter's. Okay. Mana burn on the Archmage for 35. 35 mana burn is a lot. Well, not a lot to mana burn, but decent, decent amount. Meanwhile, over here is this Archer. Is she gonna hide somewhere? She hides over here. In the water! That's, that must be uh, pretty cold in the water. Although this map doesn't look super cold. I mean, but if you're just standing still, usually it gets colder, right? Because if you move around like this hunter, it's free. Be it's, beautiful. It's nice and warmer. Be like Chaco. Wow. B3. Free. <laughs> be beautiful. Be like Chaco. Show just hosted me for 917 viewers. Thanks a lot, Show. Welcome to Show's viewers. You guys join me here at the finals of the Friday Cup. It's one against two. Sonic 1-1, one, one, Blade 1-2. One, and this is the fourth game. Archmage is hunting down the Huntress. This Huntress is walking around. You have the Demon Hunter trying to get this footman over here. And the Huntresses, I mean... They're gonna run away fast enough. Oh, nice sheep block there on the Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, is that a shop? No, it's an ancient protector. Didn't expect that. We see this uh, quite often with shops being built here on the high ground. But an ancient protector does... Does... Blade, is he gonna scout this? Let's see if he scouts this. One footman running up the high ground. No, no. Not yet. But if you're playing against hunters, you, you always have to keep in the back of your mind. Oh, we might have an AP, an ancient protector rush. There's an instant protector over there. He's going for the arcane vault now with two huntresses. One huntress takes a lot of damage here from the arcane tower. And this peasant here could be an easy kill. Two huntresses. Can they get this? Well, they're kind of surrounded though. There's no farm at the, the goblin lab. So there's no vision. Does he have dust? No. She could hide. Hello, huntress. Just hide. Why is she not hiding? Way too late. Meanwhile, he was microing the demon hunter and the panda. And the human base, nice. Uh, wait, this base is open? Why is this base open? Well, the panda and the demons are just killing peasants. 
something they like to do, something the Warden likes to do, something the Panda... I think this is something that all heroes have in common in Warcraft 3. They all like to kill peasants. And that's what they're doing. That's, uh... Even the Archmage likes to kill peasants. Even a human mirror. This, uh, this Hunters gets a few... <laughs> even the Hunters likes to kill peasants. It's just their favorite activity. Panda, though, in a bit of trouble. He has one more breath of fire. Is he gonna give the TP to the Panda? No. He just... Uh, 40 man mana burden, not that great. Panda is going to die in the back of the base. The Demon Hunter... Oh, he has a Hunters here blocking the entrance. Maybe he can get the Archmage. Meanwhile, Town is under siege by one Archer. The Demon Hunter, he's surrounded and the Archmage gets away. Mana burn for tw uh, 31 and a TP out. But the Hunters won't TP out with him. And the Archmage is stuck in the base. He doesn't have a Goblin Laboratory. Oh, he has a Footman at the Goblin Laboratory. I'll read that Meow after the game, if you don't mind. Uh, this Hunters gets out. Nice reveal. And the AP is going to sit down, but he, he only has two hunters just to defend it. Is that okay? That's enough, apparently. There's a Zeppelin and a Shredder. The Shredder does so much damage. Maybe he needs a Shredder to defend against the Ancient Protector. Here comes the Demon Hunter and the Panda, but there's, or where's the Panda actually? The Panda's still dead. Panda will be back soon. Double Ancient of Lore going up. He's at Tree of Ages. No Tree of Eternity yet, so it only drives for now. And two hunters is here defending the Ancient Protector. Oh, the Archmage. Oh my. Oh, so close. So close. And the Shredder now helping defend this. He does so much damage. 34 to 61. The Ancient Protector, ancient protector did go down. Saves another Footman. And uh, it's a nice micro here by Blade. Could maybe surround the Demon Hunter, but he doesn't really have enough to finish him off. He had like three kind of healthy food man. This one only on 38 hit points, so. <laughs> what damn always ignore me? Feels bad, man. Did you just uh, give the donation? This is the finals. The the Shredder here going for this Huntress. The Huntress, can he kill the Huntress? The Water Metal. Pretty long hit points. This uh, demon to take so much damage. Breath of Fire. Oh, he kills the Archmage with the mana burn. 47 mana burn. And this uh, water elemental does go down. There goes the tower. Some footman uh, being blocked, but I don't think he can kill the... Uh, the okay, the Shredder almost died. don't think he can kill any of these heroes. Uh, Blood Mage is out, though. Maybe the Blood Mage can do something. No, he can't. Uh, Panda still has over 100 hit points. And is he going to tier 3 yet? He's going to Tree of Eternity. He's getting some more Dryads. This Archer fighting against the Footman. Who wins this fight? Well, the Blood Mage comes in to help. Else, I think the Archer would have won, but... The Blood Mage just saves the Footman. Of course, the Footman thanks the Blood Mage. We don't see that interaction. Backsmith almost up. Altar going back up. And can Sonic break through here? Yeah, easy peasy, right? There's just two footmen and one tower. There's a few peasants. There's one breath of fire available. Four militia, four drives, I mean. Or is the demon there is uh, pretty weak. Did he overcommit? Actually, the heroes are pretty low. The panda is going to die. The blood mage is on his way back. The demon there, I said easy peasy. What I really meant to say is, this is a huge overcommitment. I think he could have microed that better, of course, not to get your heroes surrounded by the militia. This Demon Hunter is definitely going to die. Blood Mage is going to help out a little bit. He can block this area. Just kill the Demon Hunter. Oh, he got it with the tower? Did he get it with the tower? Of course, if a tower kills a hero, you don't get XP. Or if a tower kills anything, you don't get XP. So, uh, Panda will be back at some point. Try is doing a great job. You got the XP? Okay. So the Blood Mage did get the kill. There goes the Dryad, the Zeppelin. Just flying around. Just... He's over here. The five Dryads. Archmage being built. This Arcane Sanctum takes a lot of damage from the Dryads, but they can't, they can't kill it. Oh, Demon is back from the Tavern, by the way. He steals his mana. Does he have... Uh, do we know what skills he have? Besides Siphon Mana, of course, but... Does he have Banish or Flame Strike? We haven't seen Flame Strike, I'm pretty sure. Do have we seen Banish? I'm not sure. Picks up his uh, heroes and his Rifleman. There's one more Rifleman over here. 
Arc Mage is halfway back. This uh, main is seals is up again. Nice defense there by the Blood Mage. Okay, the Panda is back. He's level two. Demons are level three. And the uh, Blood Mage doing a good job. Do we have bears yet? We have some bears. We don't have a sneaky expansion. So is he? Uh, can he break this base somehow with bears? It's just some riflemen, really. He doesn't have casters yet. Okay, there's the first two casters, first two sorceresses. Meanwhile, some murlocs dying here to the blood mage and the riflemen. Team hunter kills the ogre. Picks a potion of greater healing. And kills all these units. That's a rejuvenation and more ogres and forest trolls dying. Panda's almost level three. Demon Hunter almost level three. Four, I mean. Yeah. Creep this, sure. Level three panda's gonna be huge. There's no towers. Yeah, one, I mean. But pretty much no towers. There goes the Berserker. Nice rejuvenation here on this Dryad. A lot of these units are dying. This Ogre Magi is dead. A mana stone. It is nice for the panda. A lot of units. Trolls here are going down. Demon Hunter kills it. Great. It buys a Zeppelin. Even better. And a Sepper. This main base. Do we have a TP? Yes, of course. Of course. Blade can defend, maybe. He's, he's up in supply. I'm sure, he's down in hero levels. But not that much, actually. He has two level three heroes. I think he should be able to defend here if he TPs. There's uh, one Sepper, the three. Bears and a few dryads. What is the sepper going for? For two farms, okay. This bear is dead, guys, and this bear is very likely going to. Die. Does he have a staff or something? No, another breath of fire. The demon, or does he have a staff? No, he gets a free rifleman, though, or free. How free is it really? Well, free enough, yeah. He gets a free rifleman. Is that the bear? The bear got away. I guess he disposes slow, he gets away. And meanwhile, the panda is still in the back. He has one more breath of fire and a mana stone, of course. I mean, he could just use Breath of Fire instead of killing the tower with his pogo stick, and he, that's what he does. He kills another peasant. And 54 supply and 61. Some bears in the center. Panda, he did use the mana stone. He could go back, kill some more peasants, but he really wants his priest. Oh, the demon there gets around it. He has a greater healing potion. Can he fight his way out? He should be able to, but he loses a bear. Yeah, he finds a way out. One right, and the bear goes down, though. The panda, what is he going for? He loses some mana to the spellbreakers. Does he go for defense? He realizes he needs a panda for defense. He cannot halt here without a panda. So he's just walking home? No. He realizes, I can halt without a panda. <laughs> okay. He's going for more peasants. A beautiful peasant split here. Kills two of them with the breath of fire. Meanwhile, we see Blade. He's just gonna creep a little bit. The Archmage is level 4 almost. Blood Mage also level 4 almost. And now the Archmage is level 4. And the Blood Mage, he's now level 4. Panda killing. Oh, he almost got a peasant, but he went into the Zeppelin. What is he doing here? Why, what are, why is he just standing here? He's healing up, I guess. He's waiting for the attack. He expects an attack. But of course, Blade's first gonna creep this. Just like Sonic crapped this earlier. There are staff, staff's home. And let's see if we can win this fight. The panda drinks some more juice. This ogre magi is totally dead. Mana stone. Mm, not that amazing for him, I guess. I mean, with the blood mage and the arc mage. He has plenty of mana, right? The Blood Mage is full mana. Sure, there's mana burn, level 2 mana burn. But the Blood Mage kind of counters that. There's a mana burn on the Blood Mage. Oh, he has banished level 2. He steals the mana from the Demon Hunter back. Uh, some Wisp with the detonates. Nice breath of fire and the TP out. There's a rifle man in the front. He's dead, guys. And the TP out is also beautiful. One dry did go down. Stolen Kate staff, obviously. Get an arcane tower, please. <laughs> arcane tower would be nice, yes. 
Blood Mage level 4. Arrive mana 1 0. Arc Mage level 4. Nice attack here. This rock golem is going down so fast. Scourge Bone Chimes. It is a pretty good item, yeah. A really good item. He needed the item because he's uh he's slowly falling behind now. He did a really good harass. But not good enough. Right? We have two bases mining here. How many bases do we have for Sonic? One. Well two is uh, twice as much as one. So we have a lot better income here for uh, Son uh, for Blade. That's why he's up in supply. And also Blade is uh equal hero levels. Because he's been creeping quite aggressively. Sure, he has uh, oh, Demon Hunter's level 5. Sure, he has uh, tier 3 against tier 2. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good, but uh, he's out. His army is so much smaller. A player's forces are under attack. There's a whisper, he goes into a tree. No, he doesn't go into a tree. He goes for a detonate on the priests. Oh, let's see what the item blade gets over here. What item do we see here? Eh, helmet failure. Extra strength and agility. Not really, not very good. Unless you have like a demon hunter or blade master. Okay, nice demon hunter flank attack. No, he doesn't go for it. This is this is not a place you want to attack as night elf. Your bears just get so stuck. It's such a nice tunnel. Oh, the blood mage is going to hit level 5 though. Uh, but not yet. He needs 14 more XP. Then he can steal mana so fast. Maybe he will retrain to level 3 uh, Flame Strike and level 2 Siphon, ma Siphon Mana. Maybe he will retrain also to Blizzard. And then bears are gonna fall very fast. There he steals mana from the Demon Hunter. Look how fast his mana is getting drained. He might be able to... Uh, yeah, the Blood Mage full mana. Even with mana burn. Oh, the Demon Hunter has to TP out 25 hit points. He killed a lot of peasants. But he doesn't kill the main. And now the Blood Mage... Is it just only now hit level 5? Wait, was it even still only level 2 uh, Siphon? I think so. The Dryad here is going to die. She kills another peasant though. That was nice. Ah. There's a Zeppelin over here with a bear. But it's being spotted by the Zeppelin without a bear. A player's a town is under attack. Under attack. Oh, what's the panda doing here? He has staff, so he can staff out. Oh, and this this uh, TP looks like it. And the panda is probably just going for the main now. He sees an open invitation. But there's no one to kill. There's one peasant only. Demon Hunter is being slowed. Oh, he doesn't have anything to save himself. He's just going to die. How did he think he would be able to get away from there? There is slow, there's banish. Of course you're not gonna uh, get away. Well, the panda here is killing whatever he can find. He does have a staff. He can get away, but, you know, maybe it's time for Blade to just attack. Maybe it's time to just attack. And that's what he's doing, isn't it? Arrive mana 1-0, he has two healing scrolls, so even if the panda comes back, even though he doesn't, he doesn't even have mana, he could buy maybe mana potion. He doesn't have a shop. His movals are pretty empty. He has a shredder, sure. Oh, he, there's no way he can... Oh, Tome of Agility, though. Maybe if the panda picks up the Tome, maybe they can make a comeback. He does a lot of damage here, but... Meh. He's gonna lose in main. Not that much gold left in the main, though. But, of course, the same here for, uh, for Blade. Ah, 3k. <laughs> a bit more. Because of the harass. You see, you see how much... The harassment he has done. Worth more than 3k gold. But his tree of eternity is going to fall. And there it goes. Some drives show up. They're like, hello. I'll be a blast. Oh no, this is Sepper. <laughs> nice mana burn for 150, but he can steal it back so fast. Even if the demon hunter isn't there, he's out of mana actually. He cannot steal it from the demon hunter. He can steal it from the... Oh, wait, what? He drank some mana from another mana burn. He can steal it from the bears. Let's see the stealage. Rifleman is biked back. This is uh, level 
Shit, I couldn't see which level banish that it was, but I assume level 2 banish. Come on, steal some mana back. Nice banish again. That is level 2 banish indeed. Or does he have uh, level 1 flame strike instead of level 2 siphon mana? It could be possible. The bears are doing a pretty good job. There's another healing uh, scroll. Uh, maybe Blade needs to TP out. No, these bears are about to die. That for fire, do we have the second healing scroll soon? Uh, these bears do die. We have a level seven, 6 blood match. He needs to steal some mana. Use siphon. Uh, I mean, Phoenix. He can steal mana from this bear. Oh, GG's. GG's. Sonic GG's out. And Blade wins 3 to 1 over Sonic. What a victory. What a victory here by Blade. He wins the Friday Cup, and of course he wins a lot of money. He doesn't win a little bit of money. He wins uh, a lot of money. Let's see how much money he wins. He wins... 20... 160 rupees? Rebels? I think. Assuming this all goes to first place, so much money. 2k rubbles. 2.16k rubbles here. For... Uh, Play.